Life City family, what is up? It is Art and Bobby back in the grocery store in the breakfast aisle actually because this video is all about granola and oatmeal. Something that I don't eat too much but when I do eat it I eat paleo versions which I'll talk about in a second but I really want you buying the best quality paleo granola or granola or oatmeal to put in your body because a lot of times it can be non-organic filled with bad oil and a lot of sugar. So what do I mean by that? Let's just dive into this video. So here's the wall of granola here at Whole Foods. I pick up something like this, right? This is available at every grocery store. It's kind granola. So first things first, we put on our magnifying glass. Do you see the word organic anywhere? No, I don't see it. So that's strike one for me. Then we look at the ingredients here, right? And we see cane sugar is the second ingredient, not ideal. But what kind of oil? Ooh, canola oil. Is it expeller pressed? No. Is it non-GMO? No. Okay, so let's break that down real quick you always want to get organic oats. Why do you want to get organic oats? Because conventional oats score very high for levels of glyphosates. Glyphosates are the active ingredients in Roundup. Thank you once again, Monsanto. Because what happens is a lot of corn and soy fields are sprayed like right with Roundup. That runs off into the soil and it oftentimes affects oats. So conventional oats score very high in glyphosates, organic trace amounts. So I wouldn't get that. Canola oil is GMO, it's highly processed and highly refined. And cane sugar is not the sweetener I wanna see. You're gonna to have to have a sweetener in uh, granola, but we can do a lot better. So I mean, even if you traded to the Whole Foods variety here, you're already doing yourself a huge favor. Number one, it's organic, which is great. We look at the oil they're using here. Where is it? Organic expeller pressed canola oil. So a world of difference here. They're still using cane sugar, which I don't love. There's natural flavors here, but at least it's organic and it is expeller pressed. So when it's expeller pressed, we talked about this before, it's not highly processed and highly refined. I still would rather see avocado oil or coconut oil, but baby steps, right? Because if you don't shop at a place like Whole Foods, you have other choices of granola. Like we did our video at Costco the other week. They have bare naked premium organic granola. That's actually a pretty decent one. They do use cane sugar, but everything else is really top quality there. But if you're at a Walmart or somewhere else, just look at the kind of oil they're using. Very, very important. So I talked earlier about the kind of granola I eat. It's paleo granola. What does that mean? It's granola, oh great song, Rolling Stones now? Wow, we're grooving, baby. It's granola that doesn't have any grains, like oats in there. And this is one of my favorite brands. It's purely Elizabeth grain-free granola. She has so many varieties here, but my goodness, you guys, have you seen ingredients like this? Seeds, coconut sugar, we'll talk about in a second, extra virgin, oh, it's just organic raw coconut oil, ch -ch -ch chia seeds, almond flour, wow, cashew butter. You guys, that's what you wanna see. So when I see something like coconut sugar, I get excited. Why? Because coconut sugar is a raw, relatively unprocessed sugar that's low on the glycemic index. Coconut sugar, also called coconut palm sugar, is the sap from the coconut blossom. It's so great, in addition to being a good for you sweetener, it has like a nutty caramel flavor that is delicious. So this is great, and they're using coconut oil. It's not virgin, but it's still really good. But look at this art. We're gonna try, by the way, the second half of this video, we're gonna try a bunch of these over in the food court. Look at these flavors. I haven't tried them all, but every one I've tried has been so darn tasty. And she does also have granola with, uh, grains in there, but you can see it's organic. So she really is best in class Bobby approved granola, but there's a couple of other paleo granolas here. This is a Chicago company. Um, they do meal deliveries and it's all paleo and it's really high quality. It's called Kitch Fix. And once again, it's grain free. So what does that mean? When we look at the ingredients, there's zero grains. It's all nuts, seeds, coconut oil. What kind of sweetener are they using here? Looks like maple syrup, another low glycemic sweetener, real vanilla extract. So another great option. It is a little pricey, right? We're talking about $6.99, actually $5.99 for this one until January 14. This one, there's no price on. We're going to buy these anyway. Here's one that I was very interested in. It's Farmers We Know Sprouted Granola. So before I show you the ingredients, I got excited because it's sprouted granola. When you sprout something like uh, a uh, oat, it actually has a higher nutritional profile for your body because your body derives more nutrition out of it. It also is easier on your tummy to digest. The thing is, even though it's sprouted and the only one I've ever seen that's sprouted, look at the ingredients here. Everything's pretty decent until you get to 
sunflower oil. It's organic, not expeller pressed, and there's cane sugar to the tune of seven. Not terrible, but that sunflower oil. It's so many times we're at the grocery store and we see a product that's so close to being good. Use the proper oil. I can't stress this enough brands for 2020 and beyond. When you have a premium product that has a premium price, don't skimp out on the oil. Charge me an extra 20 cents to use avocado oil, virgin coconut oil. Raise your hand or click the like button if you agree, right? Or heck, I keep saying this all month long, maybe I need to start making food products, right? That's all we gotta do. So I'm gonna buy a bunch of those. Oh, I almost forgot. Look at this. This is totally local in La Cabeza. This is chickpea granola. Love this little guy here. Bye bye hummus, hello granola. And it's probiotic. So what does that mean? We look at the ingredients here. Wow, seeds, chickpea flour is the binder, almond butter, coconut, and then actual probiotics here. Not as good as the ones that are uh, in the refrigerator section, but still pretty good. Wow, very cool. We're gonna scoop some of that too. We're gonna scoop some of the Purely Elizabeth chocolate, and we'll get the Kitsch Fix. So stick with us at the end, we're gonna go to the food court, but I wanna talk about granola really quick. So we have the wall of granola here. And now that we know, you guys, uh, oatmeal, thank you, Art. Art's paying attention, thank you. Art normally never listens to what I say, so that's really nice that he heard that. So the difference between this and this is miles different. This is organic rolled oats. This is conventional. I'm really hesitant to ever recommend these because of the glyphosate levels, whereas this have trace amounts of that. And it's really interesting when you see gluten-free on here. What does that mean? Because all oats are, are gluten-free, right? They are, but oftentimes they're produced in a facility that has flour produced in there too, and the particles go in the air and they land on the, on the oats. So if you're a little intolerant, it's not gonna hurt you, but if you're a celiac, that can cause a big issue. So I actually wouldn't eat rolled oats if I ate oats. What I would eat actually is this, steel cut oats. Art's, actually, Art's breakfast of choice is the quick cooking steel cut oats. So you can see the difference in this. It's much more whole than the rolled pressed oats. And actually, this has a higher nutritional profile. There's more nutrition in the steel cut. Art always says though, even though the quick cooking Bob's Red Mill says it's ready in seven minutes, it's more like 15 minutes, right? 17. 17 minutes, Art says. So uh, yeah, seven minutes is not quite accurate. So more water too. yeah, and more, so more water, 17 minutes, says Art's, Art's slash Bob's Red Mill now. So that's what I would look for there. Come over here though. This is really exciting to me because a lot of times people want a portable kind of quick thing to go. If you once again want something that's paleo, this I tried this for the first time this week. This stuff is amazing. This is cauliflower paleo hot cereal from Elizabeth. Can you please look at these ingredients here? Like what the what? This is next level. You guys, this did not exist when I was a youngin, right? This is amazing. So I would get this if you're grain-free or paleo. How many carbs are in here, by the way? That still has 15 nut carbs. The only thing I want you to be aware of, if you get something that is flavored, like summer berries or blueberry, odds are it's gonna have natural flavors. I don't know if this one has it, but we look at the ingredients here. And this one has, see, strawberry flavor. That's natural flavors. Cane sugar too, to the tune of nine grams. That's over two teaspoons. So just be careful when you're buying this stuff. Get organic. I would just get classic organic oatmeal here if they have it without the flavors. So that's my little spiel here. And once again, I have these sprouted rolled oats here. These are okay. Uh, are they organic though? Yep, so these are actually good. These are the sprouted ones we saw before, but it's just the rolled oats that are organic. So if you want, Rolled oats, I would get this one because you get the benefit of the sprouted. All right, let's go pay for these uh, granolas and then we gotta try them out because I'm super, super excited to do it. Roop. Taste test time. Desi and Rose have joined us. Desi's doing the camera so Art and I can partake. We got the granola here. I'm very excited because I haven't tried the chickpea one. I gotta start with this. Art, pour some in my hand if you would. I also noticed there's a really interesting ingredient here called Sacha Inchi which is an ancient Incan peanut that's very, very high in protein. So let's try this. Mmm. That is really good. Nice. I mean, the chickpea really is just a powder as a binder. You don't taste it. 
Dang. That is phenomenal. Rose, good stuff. Bobby approved from our ingredient and flavor for sure. And once again, the probiotics are there, but it's not going to be a super high quality probiotic. But it's shelf stable. All right, next. We got the Elizabeth. This is not the paleo granola. This is the regular organic granola with uh, the oats and other stuff. But of course we got the peanut butter one because I'm a peanut butter fan. Art. I actually had some of this this morning, the paleo granola with the bowl that I'm about to eat too. Tastes good. I'm really good. If you eat oats, this is the kind of stuff you want to eat. Organic. Other ingredients, top notch. Six grams of sugar for a third of a cup. Not bad at all. Uh -huh. mm. Now this is that Chicago company. We were talking about Kitch Fix. And this is all the uh, seeds and the raisins and the maple syrup. So all right, let's try that. I love this company. I've tried a few other stuff at some catered events and they're really good. You see, it's different. It's all just chunks of whole ingredients. Mmm. Good. It's really good. It's good. No, two grams of added sugar. That's nothing. It's maple syrup. That's nice. Notice to me the least sweet of the three. Fantastic. And finally, I actually had this for breakfast this morning with my quinoa and my plant based uh, yogurt. But, Art, you try this one. This is the Kali cereal. Something Art, I know for sure, has never ever had before. This is note meal? This is n not meal, yeah. Note meal. <laughs> but ingredients in this, you guys, are crazy, right? Totally grain free. Cauliflower for breakfast? <laughs> Cauliflower, hazelnuts, freeze dried strawberries. They actually have gluten free uh, organic oat versions of this too. I wouldn't do it. Really? Oh, I disagree 100 percent. I think this is fantastic. It's too much like eating cauliflower mashed potatoes for breakfast. <laughs> can you taste the cauliflower? I can a little bit. Yeah, and the textures. So you guys, if you mix this in with like some plant-based yogurt or maybe put a shot of coconut milk or cream in there, I think it'd be fantastic. Rose, you will be the deciding judge when you're old enough to eat this, all right? So, you guys, that is it for granola and oats. Now you know to look for it at the grocery store. Like, subscribe, share. The more you share, the more you tell your friends and family, the more our channel grows. And man, this month has been amazing. Let's keep the momentum going. We got two more videos below us right now. But Art, Rose, myself, and the beautiful Desi will see you very soon. Until then, we say unto you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Mwah.